Okay, so DJ Vic Vapor here, back with lesson 11. In the last lesson, number 10, we took a look at the uh, devices channel, or I guess the devices rack, sorry. And um, so let's take a closer look at the mixer. This guy down here, this little mixer element. If we push the letter M, which I showed you before, kind of hides it or reappears, whatever you like. But in my opinion, when you're looking at this guy, it looks kind of tiny right off the bat. So what you can do is you can kind of hover over this section here, give it a little pull up, and expose some additional elements. Along with over here, we can also hover over some of the tabs and things they have here. So for instance, they have show device chain of rack of tracks. So if we click on this guy, and we go up a little bit further, now we're exposing, you see some of the information I have on the microphone channel here, and you see some elements that I have on the distortion channel. So if we wanted to take a closer look at those elements, we could double click here right on the header and it'll pop over there. And then as simple as just pushing the letter M and we're right back here. What's cool about this little section though is uh, you can actually change the arrangement of your uh, effects devices and things like that right here in this little section. Move them around as you wish. You could even, if you wanted to, option drag and create a duplicate. So now I've got two distortion effects, which makes no sense, but uh, just something to show for example. And if we go back over here, you can see there's one and there's two. So what else do we have here? We have on the next tab, show effects send amounts so if we wanted to we can hide or open the effects sends and returns right here these little guys and if you wanted to add an additional one we only have one we just right click create effect track and now you can see that we have two so further down show track input output routing here again we can see our inputs and outputs available to us just like up here but we're gaining the, gaining the option here and this little guy here will just let us kind of hide the effects tracks gives a little bit, little bit more uh, screen real estate and in my opinion when you're looking at this, like I mentioned earlier, it's a little small. You know, it, it just kind of, there's a way though that you can actually take a look at this and see it in a bigger picture, bigger window. And um, in the next video, we're going to take a look at that. So let's go.